Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like down below. It looks like the people over at Ultra Pro Wrestling have a big announcement and reveal for August 26th of next month, according to a Twitter user. We'll get into that in a second. And they're, they're uh, teasing four new characters as DLC for Ultra Pro Wrestling. Let's go check it out over on Twitter. On to Twitter! All right, we're over here on Lenny Wrestling. He says, in recent weeks, we have been working on a massive promotional campaign which will show off the new character models as well as gameplay and some bonus content, which we are keeping secret until then. At Sam Valley, who is the creator. Ooh, I'm not following him? I thought I was following him. Okay, cool. Follow. Honestly, I can't wait till the 26th of August. And they got some pictures here. And it looks like new character models. I know he said that they're redone all of them because uh, this is what they used to look like, a little janky. But this was just for the Kickstarter, so that I'm assuming they're gonna look much, much better. Especially with Hal Haney as the lead artist because he's probably giving his, his direction and what he wants to see. So that's very exciting, just based off his art. I'm curious what type of art style they're gonna go with. Are gonna keep it the cartoony style, which I love. Are they going to go for a more realistic style or blend the two? I'm really curious what they go with, so I'm hyped. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Um, he did say in a response to one of the videos I made that they're working after they're all done with Ultra Pro Wrestling. He wanted to do like uh, was it Slam Masters? He wants to do like a Slam Masters version of it with the same characters. That would be really cool, um, and it would be a lot probably a lot easier to make than a full 3D wrestling game. So that'd be really fun as like a next side project. So I can't wait for that either. Now let's look at some of these responses. Thinks about Ultra Pro Wrestling. It says, wait until you see, and Anthony has been helping out with this game quite a bit. And he officially got signed on a couple weeks, or a couple days ago, I think actually. Uh, he says the team is working nonstop. Well, yeah, this they're in full develop mode right now, which I'm very hyped for. <coughs> This is like this is one of my most anticipated games now be, because of some of the responses they've given to me and I've seen them respond to other people. They're very open and transparent with how things are going, what they're planning. He has a live stream every Sunday or every other Sunday where you can ask him questions and he answers you candidly. He doesn't give away like secrets of stuff, but he really tells you like this is how this would work and let's say you ask him can you do this? He goes Yes, this is this is what we're planning, or no, I you know we're not going that route, and it's really really cool because it gives you an idea of what they're going for for the game. So um, I, lo I love it. Let's see, these make me so happy, and there's people just posting toy stuff. So <coughs> now let's go over to the character reveal profile, and I'm like, hmm, who is it? Hmm, with the <laughs> the fry glare. <laughs> All right, so we're right here. Here's the four characters, and I'll right off the bat, the two on the left look like Demolition, and I did look at the responses already. Some people were saying the four horsemen. I, I think these two look like the Steiner Brothers, just because this could be his, the Steiner Brothers uh, head thing, but they were in WWE 2K23. I don't know if they have like a legal thing where they can't be in another game, who knows? Um, I can't really think of who else these two would be. It'd be awesome if they had the Road Warriors, but if the Road Warriors would be a dead giveaway with the spike pads. Unless, unless they uh, did them without the armor so it wouldn't be so obvious. So the, I, it could be the Road Warriors because Hawk and Animal, which would be freaking awesome because I'm pretty sure at one point he had long hair down at the bottom, but he had, you know, the Mohawk with the side thing and then uh, Hawk had the two little hair things. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure he had a mullet at one point. And then of course demolition. And then uh, some people are being jerks. They're like, oh yawn, another concept art. Well, they're trying to promote their game. Give them, give them some, you know, give them some slack a little bit. They're gonna show everything next month, which I'm super hyped for, August 26th. Don't forget, I'll be talking about that for the next few weeks. We got Four Horsemen, Chip, <laughs> Chippendales, the Fabulous Freebirds. I wonder if it's the Pillman family. That could be the Pillman family. Um, Powers of Pain. 
I, I'm trying not to think of people that were in WWE, although the, they might be, you know, like major ones. Like the Nation of Domination is obviously not going to be in another game because that was a WWE faction. DX isn't going to be in there. NWO is not going to be in there. WWE owns all of that. So I'm trying to really think of factions and people. I wonder if that's Booker T. What is it? Harlem. Is it Harlem Heat, I think. Nah, that wouldn't be Booker T. That'd be cool, though. Um, I'm just, and Booker T works for WWE, so I doubt they would put, put him in a different video game. Anyway, who do you think it is? Sound off in the comments below and let me know who you think it is. Uh, don't forget August 26th. I can't wait to see what they show off. Uh, I'm really curious about the art style and, just, and how, how it plays. And You can really tell when they show when they show the characters wrestling in the ring, you can really tell where the game is at. You know, it doesn't tell where it's, it's going to end up, but it can really tell you where they're at and what they're going for. And since they're so transparent and they talk to the people that are trying to help with the game, they might listen. They might take your feedback and be like, okay, we'll change this, we'll change that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and stay frosted.